Hey everyone, Spider-Man 1991, where today I'm going to be talking about another graphic novel, Wolverine Origin. This collects the six issue miniseries that answers the question, where the heck did Wolverine come from? Um, basically, <clears throat> basically it takes place over a century ago, pretty much old, ancient, old, old times, like maybe around 1700, between 1700s and 1800s is a good good guess. Um, it shows how Wolverine, it shows pretty much the character Wolverine back when he was known as James Howlett, how he, how he originally uh, discovered his powers, his true heritage, and what experiences pretty much helped shape him into the character that we know as Wolverine. And also, and it kind of, also it sort of gives us an explanation as to why he doesn't remember any of this, any of this, because like it, because when Wolverine first discovered his pow his claws, he accidentally uh, it was shortly after the death of his father, of his father. But it turns out uh, his his father wasn't really his biological father; it was actually the guy who just killed him, Thomas Logan. And that and right after his father's death, Wolverine goes into a feral w rage and kills and kills him with the claws he just grew he just summoned. And <clears throat> and after that. Uh, after that, James pretty much freaks out. He has an emotional breakdown. Fortunately, he's comforted by his friend Rose, who then go on the run, who go on the run, and eventually they find a small mining town where they live. And James, and James pretty much gets a job as a worker there. Uh, he works his way up to becoming sort of an apprentice to the head foreman. <laughs> foreman, and along the ways, uh, he starts to develop the traits that traits that we see in the modern Wolverine character. Um, however, though. James's past comes back to haunt him when he's visited by his half brother Dog Logan, who surprisingly looks a lot like Sabretooth, but isn't actually Sabretooth. Anyways, <clears throat> Dog shows up. He fights Logan, and fortunately, when while Logan's fighting him, he freaks out. He almost freaks out, loses control, and and during that time, he accidentally stabs Rose, who was trying to stop Logan. But unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, Rose was stabbed, and at that point, Wolverine. Logan Law, well, James lost all his humanity at that point, and thus uh, went to live amongst the wolves, and that, and that sort of repressed his, me fully repressed his memory at, of his life as James Howlett. So yeah, basically, well, so basically, what the series tried to establish was that Wolverine's healing factor, uh, because of, attempted a psychological psychological healing because of all the traumatic stuff he went through. The best way that the healing factor decided to cope with it was to repress it. So in a way, Wolverine lost his memories because of himself, which is very interesting. Um, also, <clears throat> also the artwork in this series is brilliant, especially the way the characters are drawn, um, how some of them do bear a strong resemblance to uh, characters we see in the present day Wolverine comics, such as the character Rose looks a lot like Jean Grey, and like I said, Logan's half-brother Dog looks a lot like Sabretooth, which, by the way, they were leaving open-ended about. They said, uh, Paul Jenkins, the writer, said it, said in an appearance that, you know, they meant for it to be open-ended. They didn't they didn't deny that it was Sabretooth. They didn't confirm it was Sabretooth, but it was something that if Marvel wanted to establish or something in the future, they could, but ultimately Marvel didn't. However, it was used in X-Men Origins uh, Wolverine, which, quite frankly, this part, this part is the only thing they got right. They got right in that movie, in my opinion. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, the story is definitely something that I think every Wolverine fan should read, uh, especially now that Wolverine's de uh, dead in the comics. Uh, again, comics, so he can come back. Um, and, but overall, I d definitely recommend you pick... If you're a Wolverine fan, you should definitely pick this up. And if you do decide to get this, get the, hard get the uh, hardcover version, which I have right here, because it is filled... With a lot of extras, such as original proposals to how they were going to do the origin, because Marvel, they were going, they were going when they decided to do this story, they were pretty much being as careful as they could because they felt that, you know, the mystery of Wolverine's past was one of the things that people loved about him. But they didn't want, but they felt like they couldn't keep coping on that forever, so they decided to, you know, it was time to reveal Wolverine's origin, and they were very careful. You get. Because the extra sort of reveal all the original proposals. They also show the emails that went back and forth between the staff members about how they were going to do this and how it was going to work out and stuff. And also you get original art, 
original artwork and sketches about what the characters looked like. So over, so honestly, this is definitely worth your money right here. So if you're a Wolverine fan, you should definitely check out Wolverine Origin. Okay, that's that's it for me. Thank you again for wa watching another one of my graphic novel reviews. Uh, what did you guys think of this, of this story? Did you like it? What didn't you like about it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Spider-Man1991 saying, see you later.